Good week, everyone. Later. This is uh, Full Spectrum Cycling. You are now hearing the show 251. Yeah. In the podcast MKE studio here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. We got Tony. Yeah, I'm right here. We got JK doing a little okay. pit rubbing over yeah, there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which camera's recording? Are they all? Hopefully that one right there. How's it going? Hi. And if not, I don't know. Hi. Maybe that one or that one? Well, these these always record, but oh, yeah, I don't okay. have them set up for backup like I did last week. We gotta get so I'm uh, you know how big I am on backup stuff. We oui, we. Oui. So here's backup, backup on there, backup over there. Well, at least we'll get audio. Um, I am I am cur- I'm curious whether if you know this is the wireless lapel kind of things. They do pretty <laughs> well to pick it up from here too, though. Dave lapel, and it goes directly into the camera through the gizmo on top of the camera. Look at that. So if it's good enough for, for some people, maybe they'd be like, well, I don't have to go through all this and all this. When I could just do these, that. When I could just do that. Of course, you can't get any callers in or anything mm-hmm. and such. And you would have to maybe have a speaker. Do you remember when we were doing Weekly Dose with the, the speaker in the middle of the desk when we'd have call-in people? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Cisco systems. Yeah, those were the good old days <laughs> <Wow>. back then. <laughs> that little hub in the middle. Yeah, we had an orb. Oh, man. Good stuff back then, yeah. That was, that was how we tried to do it. And More it, nostalgia lane. I think we used a uh, boom bot at one point. Mm, like so. sitting on wow. a box. Yeah. That From was Boombotics? That, yeah, that was One like, and we had it mic'd because that was our call-in person was on the Boombot. Wow. Yeah, well, I, I think it was when the Boombot Pro and the bass came out. Yeah. Which at the time were, You could set the bass, right? I the triangle? I, I think I still have the bass. I don't it was have the any pyramid of, one? Those yeah. things were garbage. Yeah, well, but it charged your thing. That was yeah, the good there's the only good point. It had no yeah. bass. I, I thought that was but a, I think that I think it did a worldwide kill switch of like anything boom no I, I take that back i do have a pro that i can i will still use on occasion i thought they were great at the time oh yeah yeah but i can tell the usb port failed like they all did mm-hmm. <laughs> i told you what i did for mm-hmm. one did you replace the port no i cut apart the boombotics and i put in a, what's called a red stick which is a adreno computer on a stick oh right on and then i used it to make a light activated theremin so during the river west 24 when bikes came towards me with their light it would change the sounds oh that sounds kind of fun still have it it's pretty fun right on much of the bring it out of the closet for the next one (laughs) oh it's coming up quick yeah what is it not three weeks is coming up quick a couple of weeks away yep that's over at the uh, garden park black husky right sleeping out I, 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 I note that you noted that there's a thirty-four dollar entry fee this there's year. There's a new fee this year. Mm-hmm. That's Ten why, bucks more. When I threw it up on the uh, show notes a couple of weeks ago, I, that's why I put the River West thirty-four. Is that was that your hand? Yeah. Yep. Oh, Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to figure out where this mystery hand why come from. And now the the funny the funny post on their website is like, well, I'm glad I budge, budgeted an extra ten hours of riding. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah. Thirty-four hours. You get you get a dollar an hour. That's not a bad deal, right? So this weekend was uh, we had Brett and uh, Hunter on a couple of weeks ago. We did their well, Tony and I did the their green the Green Mile, Mile event on four twenty this Saturday. Well, that was fun. I had a great time. It was cold, but I had proper gear. Yeah, you had to go a little long. Longer. I had to go I, pretty long. We Tony and I did checkpoints. So where was your checkpoint? Um, Hubbard Park at the bottom of the hill by the, you know, where the oh, two tunnels are. You got lucky. I thought you had Humboldt Park. Oh, oh that so would have been you even just f- had to go to Shorewood. That would have been even further than No you. wonder why you beat me back to well, the I, but so, so we had. So well, here's, you were down by Boone. I was the, at Boone and Crockett. Okay, yeah. That's what I thought. So here's what, what I had. I had to give these to either every, everybody uh, tube, on the. Tube. Yeah, you put your doobie in there, hey? Yes. Tube, tube. Um. So anybody that was on the THC side got one of these. Otherwise, they had to get their manifest signed. So everyone that was doing the event came by, which was 40. Nice. Cool. 45, 40, 45. There was quite a few peoples. There was many peoples. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. It's Nate. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Calling in already? I don't know. No, he's, I, I don't know what he wants to do. Oh. Can, it, it's our, our buddy over there from the Cannabis Collective. Oh, Nate. In the yeah. other building. Um. 
Anyway, yeah, Green Mile was was it was a blast. <laughs> it was his I ears thought, were burning. His ears were burning. <laughs> there were some serious riders out there too. Yeah, yeah I stopped, uh, the I, map planning was impressive. I stopped in That's the key at to the, an uh, cat. by the launch and uh, yeah, you must have rolled yeah, by for about three minutes and then pretty much. Been, yeah, have you seen this thing? It's it's Boing, looking and dongle. It's looking at Boing, me. It's going. Um, I had I had my record store day alley cat to run. Yeah. So cool. What'd you get? Uh the Devil's Angels soundtrack. Roger Corman film. I have made a nice thing for the headline picture <laughs> out of that <laughs> album cover. So. And I, I got two acknowledgments. The only two acknowledgments I got about posting it today was from uh, Von Munz and uh, Johnny Z. <laughs> I was like, okay, this is good company. That's, that's, yeah, that's that <laughs> this works. is good good acknowledgement company. I'm digging that. So who's your advocate over there, at MSC? I don't know. <laughs> I spread myself thin. Right on. Should Finger, probably become fi- a, fingers should in every probably pie. become a guitar smasher so you can be like yeah right yeah really grease the wheels yeah Why grease not? the wheels of of, of audio well, join, my, the, join my, the my club. tax my tax returns just came back so there you go there's a little flush money when right the, uh, fundraising drive comes itself, up kind of soon pays for itself I was thinking the wave of the future is. Uh, is some VJs down there at uh, WMSC got to do the video DJ thing? <laughs> huh? They could live stream every they day. Could totally people live would like be in 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 on that stuff. Or hey, or most of them would go fuck that. <laughs> very possibly, yeah, very possibly. Who's that? So Tony Tony boogied from the after party at Uptowner, which was fun. Interesting band. Kind of a reggae jazz band, sort of a, <coughs> a, a, kush, a, a kush, kush trio? Interesting is a great way to describe them. I was hoping they would have a different band. I was expecting <laughs> at <laughs> any. I, I was expecting at any moment Doctor Sushi was going to walk out. Oh lordy, uh, it wasn't. That, like what's his face? Uh, t- I don't know. I have no idea how to pronounce it. T l a k k o k. I don't know. He's one of the three that was in the mm. in the band. I've seen him. He was over at uh, Pedro's or La Casino del Sur. For their that launching of uh, tacos and tequilas. So while they were doing the awards, Kerry won first place, by the way. Excellent. Um, and the other twos were long hairs, too. Everybody yeah, was saw a long that hair. Picture, that everyone's long hair. Long hair. Long hair, tall Damn tomatoes. Damn long-haired people. So, but this was a part of our uh, uh, thank you for being a volunteer, and it is to Tony and Greg. Not me. A lot from, yeah, a lot from <laughs> yeah. Kind Oasis. Where is Kind Oasis? They're somewhere in, Over by my Fisher's. Yeah, somewhere. Oh, on okay, East okay. But there's. Let's see what's, what's in, in here. There? What's in there? First of all, let's go through this because Ayla it's almost certain, like Christmas. Ayla made certain that I got part of this. Yeah, I'm making certain you get part of it. Oh, okay, well, we're each getting one of these. So we're That's getting. Cool. So we're getting these. These cool. are uh, obviously cool. Thank you, kind Oasis. We, Wait, THC seltzers. That sounds interesting. We got some uh, incest here. I think. Oh no, we might have to split that one. Is that Nag Champa? No. You got your oh, uh, similar. Very you got similar. your Delta Nine THC, THC gummies. Look at that. Delta Nine. Fifteen count. These are vegan gummies. <laughs> Come on. Oh, so they don't have gelatin in them? Okay, I'm like. I don't know. All right, vegans. Pectin? We got because I didn't realize that vegan or gelatin contains horse hoofs. We got four one four twenty lighters. <laughs> oh, Look at that lighter. Lighters. We got stickers. Stickers, more stickers. Hey, wait, these might be legit. These are legit Bic lighters. That's the. Sh- you can't the, have a, a lighter that's not a Bic. Not right, but you never be. Yeah. Do you want to gargle with this low dose, fast acting syrup? What? No. Oh God, that sounds what scary. More Delta as Nine hell. syrup. So it's a Delta Nine cough syrup, or is it just a you're going to get high drinking this? Yeah, syrup? I I don't know. And then this thing right here, this green one. That's for there you. was only one of them, and Kim's like, "I need a new water bottle," so that's why it's in front of JK. Oh, take, take that home to Kim. <laughs> this is going on my cargo bike. Get that, that, get that bag out of here. Um, yeah, so the very nice uh, recognition of our sort of participation. It was in the fun. Event. Yeah, I ended up buying a four pack and having two of them sitting around. And let me tell you, that boat launch has a lot of. Creepy oh. traffic. Yeah, I think it's sort of a handoff Whoa. zone or something. It's something weird. There was, was a lot of 
Yeah, Polosia do hang out there on quite occasion. I wanted to eat lunch there the other day, and I'm like, I can't go in there. There's a bunch of weirdo cars. It, it was very bizarre, and a lot of out-of-state plates. Like, what's going on here? Why do people know to stop here? Because it's kind of out of the way. Yeah, but it's so. really close to the breezeway and stuff. And down the river. Yeah, you could you could come and in a boat. If you, if you haven't well, ridden you could be by boating. there, yes. if you haven't ridden by there midday, there is a guy with a collection of synchro VW buses, like four of them that he must work at the boat area. But he had a panel van version with a roof, a uh, raised roof. He had a regular camper version with the Westphalia. And then he had a regular synchro panel van, which I've never seen in my life. And the oh. guy is obviously a VW synchro nut. Mm-hmm. Does he store them inside Skipper Buds? Or I, I wonder, but there's oh. always, if you go there during the week, there's well, always there's... one of them parked next to that marina area. Yeah, oh, there's uh, that. Hanson's. Right along that, right, yep, right yep. there, and then the or, uh, the Walkie Kayak Company, the the that weird, panel, that weird uh, lot, the panel <laughs> version with the raised roof, seriously badass. Nice. Hey, you know what else is down on the water down there? Not right there, different, but Lake Express. Mm-hmm. Ah, it is. I, be- up I fast. believe they're running again, but uh, Friday that'd be tomorrow. They do the. Bring in a serviceable bike and get a round trip ticket on the old Lake Express. Steel, it's a steel people. I'm wondering if that bike that was lying in the middle of the road the other day would put some air on the tire. Shifter, shifter. We're trying. I. It's probably stolen. I'd feel bad about that. You think? Well, I it's got, going back. It's laying the in the middle of the street. It's Maybe going, somebody it's abandoned going it. To, and it is it's a going to dream bike. bike. It's going to get wrenched over, and then we'll be on, on the Greg, floor. Greg, there's again. stickers on the floor. I think you dropped some stickers. Oh, those look cool too. Yeah, I know. Hold on, radio listeners. It's not like you're throwing it into a landfill or anything. Those are cool. All right, I'm taking that sticker. Good to see that. I don't know. Is that some kind of restaurant? I'm not even sure what that is. I think it's the same logo as Kind Oasis. It is. Oh, there you go. My daughter is trying to get my wife to try stuff from Kind Oasis, saying that it's not really cannabis, but it kind of is. You might want to try it, Ma. So, yeah, we'll see. We'll get her some gummies. Gummies are good. It's not my a bad mom. Idea. My mom did gummies. Yeah, right on. She's done the THC therapies for pains. So yeah, I don't know. I I need to find a bike for this thing, or I'm not going to get my free ticky. Yeah, I'm kind of on the fence. I am on the fence. On the fence. Yeah, I do think I do have a rig that I could sacrifice. I was thinking about that stupid Wu Tang bike Scary. isn't going anywhere. People are just oh, that's not, way too nice People a bike. are just not biting on it. I'm like, I want bikes out of here. Go away but with that one. That, that bike's yeah, more the, expensive than just buying a fucking round trip. I shit you not. There was yeah. a Pugsley. Somebody brought in that's a true. damn Pugsley. But somebody would get a kick-ass line. bike, though, too. I was like, There's whoa, that. whoa, whoa, whoa. But some, would they even okay. appreciate it or okay. know what it is? Okay, wait, wait. Okay, wait. Guess what? You're not even really supposed to use your ticket. Hmm? You're supposed to just give them the bike at the ticket and then never redeem it. I you said that. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I, I've done that twice. Yeah. No, we've all done that. But I, I say, well, we talk about I this on the show year. all the time. One so year. I figure they're they're paying us for our, uh, you know, pimping their wares kind right. of thing. Guess what was voted number one high school in Wisconsin? Pi High XI. No. Uh, short. Oops. Uh, no. Wait, wait. Uh, nickel bag? Nope. Nickel lay's not even in the top ten. Whitefish Bay, dag nabbit. Oh, yeah. That's the one you went to. Yeah. <laughs> I went to Sherwood. Oh, did you? My bo- my boy and my girl went to the uh, they went to the Whitefish Bay there. What? U.S. News and World Report. So you know, it's you, know be you know it's good stuff. <laughs> my uh, daughter decided she's going to go to UB Milwaukee. That's she's what you said. Kind of happy. My boy's going there. The boy's she's going there. Happy. J.K. explained to us this UWM Bike Expo May first, Bates Plaza. Yeah, what is well, that? What do you know I about saw. That? I saw a flyer. That same here. That's what piqued my interest. Uh, the what, UWM rec department, part of the student union. I know that lady very well. They're doing Fix her computer. Uh, it's it looks like, like it's kind of like a bike swap, bike sale, free tune-ups, and 
you know, I guess local vendors selling some wares. But that's like a Wednesday or something. That's Spates Plaza, so it's, of course yeah. it's going to be middle of the week, so people mm-hmm. can come to Spates Plaza. I don't Students. know what Spates Plaza is. Oh, it's the center right. area of between, UWM between, between the, the Union, union the, the library, library, Bolton, and gotcha. Tech School of the Arts. Yes. Where the <clears throat> long line was for the Eclipse classes. Yes. Exactly. Gotcha. Wouldn't have known, but yes. yes. And you can go inside to the Taco can... Bell Express and get a fully... Gordo loaded soft taco. So okay, in there with you. This is for the boy because his <laughs> his meal plan. I had to kind of pick a meal plan, and he gets <laughs> he gets X number of dollars. First of all, you can eat all you want at the normal, yep. you know, dorm or wherever the cafeteria. Oh, the cafeteria are. thing. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, he yeah. gets extra dollars to use at any place. They're called gold bucks or something. Yeah. So besides Taco Bell, what else is on campus that you could use those at? Union, Burger King. Uh, the uh, Burger King, um, Gast House, Pacific Wraps. Pacific, don't do that. Eh, not anymore. Yeah, they used to be so good. Is there a Starbucks or other coffee? Uh, coffee. There's uh, coffee. The yeah, grind. Altera. Yeah, coffee. Right. Coffee. All right. So, so we so that it seems like about other ones. and other ones like <clears throat> I think even Oakland Eros and Shawarma House and Sales Pizza. But I will area you, will take on it or you, honor. You should money. express to him that the Union Station on the first floor of the Union. Um, I highly recommend the Indian food because it's all cooked by Indian students, and it's good. The butter chicken has got a kick to it that is worthy of ordering. Awesome. So And reasonably priced, all, all things considered. My daughter is also going to be in the Booter. dorms. Booter. I don't know where he's so, going to end so up yet. So Cleon's going to go to the dorm, she said. That's what she decided. I would have said... Stay at home. It's two miles away. That, that's what I suggested, too, but you want them to have that experience. As long as he can pay for it, I'm all right. for it. And, <laughs> and the benefit for me is I'm turning her bedroom into my stereo room. <laughs> that, that is a good benefit because that's a big room. 17 by 20, baby. Yeah. That's gonna, I'm going to sit in a big – got to find a Max oh. a, a max L chair. You know what I'm talking about? The yeah. commercial. The Max L. So you need to get some heresy speakers. and Right. And just be like <sighs> – and the uh, the cops moved out of the basement of West Tower. So well, yeah, because they're no moving co- to there Norris There ain't no cops now. in the dorms no more. Right. Well, there they're in Northwest Quad. There were, co- there were cops in the dorms when I went there. They're, that in the dorms. they're almost finished with the old Norris Health rehab. Since I look at it every oh, freaking gotcha. day. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You There's know, the problem with that nice is the cops are going to take all of our parking in our parking lot. Not that I care because I ride a bike. Right. My coworkers are pissed. Nice. What you got there, Greg? It's um, 80s show and tell day. Maybe early 90s, possibly. Can you nope. see that for a second? I've How got, do you? I've got a... Um, Nostalgia I've got that, lane, so I, so I have that oh, trek. The bolt's still there. Wow. Yeah, well, I, yeah. I bought this new back in the olden times. I misplaced it for a lot of years, and I have that 950 trek that has a horrible... Perfect for that. A horrible straight handlebar on it. Oh. They, oh, oh, and I wanted to put the Brahma bars on there, which I still have from back in the olden times as Whoa. well. But because of all these curvy things, you couldn't get it on to the stock stem. But if you look at the control tech, it's kind of hogged out on the bottom. Just, just so you can just oh buttery smooth. Put the look at that. That's I used to love gorgeous. Brahma bars so much. I could see that. I kind of think they're still pretty badass. Pretty wide for old school bars too. Yeah, well, yeah. And I'm not. I can't ish. ride. I can't ride 840 millimeter bars or whatever the wide ones are now. I don't want to. It's like, whoa, right. bro, that's wider than my motorcycle. Like, man. Oh, tree, bam, I'm on the ground. Yeah, I did that with like 720s, even hitting trees. So anyway, got got to set up. That thing still has the original LX stuff on it. It's barely used. The frame is a little bit nicked up and stuff, but the drivetrain is still good. freaking true temper steel. It's going to last it's forever. It's going to be great. It's going to be awesome. Well, somebody's. I'm going to probably sell it because we're kind of poor here at the shop these days. So I'll get that thing out the door. You know who else is poor? You can tell because they're selling bikes at 40 to 50% off again. Trek? Kona. Oh, Kona's heart. That's just sad. The, I'm sure if people are in the bike. That's it, not sad. That's poor management. Oh, well, it's, it's just... It's, Totally dropping the ball and running away from it. And I rarely say this, but I'm just going to say this right now. <laughs> Fuck you, Canada, because they're a Canadian company. Can't, yeah. yeah. So Kona uh, went to Sea Otter 
which is no small expense to get there, set up and then tore down less than 24 hours later. Yeah, I saw And that. everybody got, you know, kind of the talking to. They laid off a bunch of staff. Why would you a? Why would you go out there? Why would you wait an extra day to get them to set it all up than to say, you know, sorry, folks, we're pulling the plug on this thing. Somebody should buy that. Mark Peterson already put a thing out there on Facebook saying somebody should buy this. It's an iconic mountain bike brand. Been there for a, I have. I had. I sold it. Ahamaha Manuka Nuka Apia Pro. Poo -poo, with, mama, disc, kaka, doo -doo. with disc <laughs> brakes. <laughs> One of the very hama, rare hama. ones with disc brakes and glow in the dark lettering. They were good. They were good I bikes. I regret selling that. They were always a good value bike. Yep. You know what's another good value bike in the shop? Just finished it up today, Stephen. Wait, wait, I think I know this. Stephen wrapped the handlebars for me because I haven't wrapped bars. Is it a state in... bike? No, it's a freaking Jameis from a long time ago. Really? Yeah, it's like got a steel down tube and carbon seat tube and top tube. What? It's really cool. It's Joe Schuler's. You know Joe. Yeah, I do. I didn't Red. know he made that though. Yeah, we should go check it out after the show. It's really light for its era, but it's a forty-seven centimeter frame. Joe's kind of a short guy. But 47, or rarely do you, well, 47. I suppose 53, I'd say, so yeah, I guess odd number. Yeah, but yeah, so w that got done. We got rid of the um, the bike-fed bullet went down the road at 32 miles an hour. Good fucking looking bike. Yeah, it's super fun, too. It was fun talking to Jake about it, too, trying to convince him to go with a 7 or 8 speed. Yeah, it's still a 10 speed for now, but right. and it's got a new chain and a new cassette, so that'll get him through the year, but awesome stuff. I like that bike. They should get a lot of good uh, cargo hauling use out of it. A mm -hmm. mm -hmm. couple of new projects in there. Remember that Schwinn, that world adventure frame, the aluminum thing that's been floating around forever? Yeah. We bought that bike because it had an Alfina 8. I remember and that. A, and a dyno front hub and really good brakes and all sorts of stuff. And it was cheaper to buy the whole thing. Than to buy the parts. Than to buy yep, the parts. I remember so that. We, so we bought it for a project and then... Uh, just the frame's been sitting around. So I found some parts. I'm going to take the wheels off Wendy's roll because we're electrifying it. I already have other wheels for that. Nice. And I've just been collecting little baubles for it here and there. So that's going to be a good commuter baubles. bike. It's actually a really nice frame. It's like 7,005 aluminum. It, it's light. Is uh, Wendy's electric going to be front or rear? Front. I like that approach. It is going to have a pedal assist because I don't want her to have to manage a throttle. But it will have a, you know, she just wants to ride with Garrett and she can't keep up with him. So. Well, that definitely will help. <laughs> it, will, it will give her the incentive to go ride with him some. Uh, yeah, that's what's in the shop. You know, it's in uh, Iowa, new bike park coming to Mason City. Really? No. Yeah, it looks interesting. It's, uh, you know, we go to that May Day Mayhem thing. It's probably 30 miles further west or someone, something okay. like that. It would be the largest city in north very northern Iowa. They expect a lot of people to come. They got a big old thing well, on the yeah. uh, on the on the TV stations talking about it. We we talked recently about the skate park on the south side, and this weekend, Boom Boom Huck Jam was in town to check it out. Boom Boom <laughs> Tony, Tony, Tony Tony Hawk Tony, Tony Hawk. Uh, yeah, he was over at the at the turf skate park yeah. there, scoping it out. Since we're almost to the end of the hill. Oh. God, it was a hard climb. It was a hard climb. Um, JK brought the uh, beer water today, which was awesome choice because we've kind of had a lot of really powerful beers lately. So instead we're having hams. The beer refreshing. The beer, beer refreshing. dot, dot, dot. Refreshing. It is, it is from the land of sky blue waters. Uh, lay, me, lay, me, lay one on me. <clears throat> More stuff coming up. Oh, yeah, so Mayday Mayhem is next weekend. Weather dependent. Lunds and and registration for the River West 24. Which is not weather dependent. <laughs> That'll go on rain or shine. Tim and Tony, I'm going to hope, will offer to let me sleep in their brewery again. Did you sleep in there last year? No, I didn't. I actually, no, I but they offered. I, I met you. I waited But out if there they did you. offer me to sleep in it, I'd probably take advantage of it this year. With old. doggies. If all possible. Their apartment isn't done upstairs yet. No, not it? quite yet, oh, but okay. I think they're anticipating June. I wish I could find this damn quote. It's driving me insane. 
Yeah, you're doing a lot of button pushing. Yeah, yeah, but it's a good one when I find it. Short trip. <laughs> Did you you Tony took a, you took a look at the uh, Paradigm Green Ink website last week or week before when I was talking about them buying rims and yeah, yeah. they're doing some kind of rim drive situation. I didn't look at that. Yeah, they okay. make some interesting stuff if you're into weird e-bike stuff. Seems like there's a bunch of weird bike builders in Montana. I think there was a company called Bigfoot or something that made I like do, uh, like a big tricycle or four wheel fat bike thing. I do recall that like an all terrain monster truck of a electric bike kind of an idea. There's a link in the show notes. You know what else will be in the show notes? Video of the bike fed bullet. Cool. This I saw the video. Already. Video for this show, which by the way, Tony discovered. The show on YouTube does have an audio only version for their podcast feed for some reason. So if you don't want to see me, listen. Yeah, yeah, listen to it. Or just put it on and it'll be a video, but you won't see anything happening. Uh, And then there's the video version, which otherwise you wouldn't see these badass Brahma bars and all this kind Oasis uh, kick-ass swag. This is weird as all get out. I don't want cough syrup that makes me stone. I don't think it's cough syrup. There we go. I found it. Oh, God. When you were saying, like, don't drop the ball. (laughs) <laughs> I didn't want to screw it up because it was a good one. Okay. The movie, Too Big to Fail. <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah, they dropped the ball. No, they didn't drop the ball. They dropped the ball, kicked the coach in the nuts, and took a crap in the quarterback's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> See, well, there's, there's a lot going on there. Yeah, I didn't want to screw it surprised up. surprised you couldn't find that more quickly. I am, too. That's what was pain so, to me. You probably don't have AI activated on your phone After yet. reading uh, this kind of Oasis Delta 9 Plus. I see nothing of cough syrup. Um, low dosage, fast-acting syrup. Here's the funny part. This size bottle. This size bottle. How many doses do you feel are in this bottle? Four. Ten? Twenty-one. Ah. Give me that. <laughs> Mike, do you what? not drink directly from bottle? It also Barely says. not. Is <laughs> that what oh. it says? <laughs> yeah, it's 100. Well, I guess it's 105 milligrams, five milligrams per serving. You want to bet the first ingredient in that entire bottle is sugar? No, it is. Cane sugar. <laughs> ah, so it's like... Mexican Coke. Uh, yeah, Mexican Coke has actual cane sugar, not high fructose corn syrup. Half a teaspoon or half a tablespoon. I don't know. I'm not sure what it's for, but maybe it makes you feel better. I'm it's, seeing some guy riding his bike around pounding that thing. It's less than 3% Delta 9 THC, whereas what are, some of these other ones, this one is 20 milligrams of Delta 9 THC. This is 15 per unit. Anyway, that's what you get when you get stuff this one from starts with organic tapioca sh- syrup and then sugar and fruit pectin, which last I checked is also sugar. <laughs> well, there you go. I don't know. You know, it's they're 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 dancing that that line yeah. of can we get away with it kind of stuff. I'm fine with that. They can do well uh, for adult adult use only. But there you go. Uh, all right, everyone. I guess. Uh, Anybody Oops. else got anything? Kona bikes, black, blah, 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 blah. blah. Oh, oh Resto Mod Bikes, I'm working on that page. Gotta, I like it. I added a going. couple bikes. Yes, I have a couple more to add soon, and I hope other people, because now there's a group versus a page. I didn't exactly remember what the difference was, but the difference is you can't, you can't post on a page. But I can post in a group. You can post on a group as your own thing. On a page, you could comment on something, but you couldn't start your own <clears> thread or unless I... Let you in or whatever, but whatever, whatever. Jeez. It's all the Facebook stuff. Thanks, Obama. (laughs) I tell you. All right, everybody. Uh, I guess we'll be here next week again. Yeah.